What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking in. Um, yeah, so happy Monday. Or it's Monday. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but it's Monday right now. Anyway, so check this out. Um, check that out. It's, <laughs> um, Letitia James at it again, again, again. The fire department in New York, you know, they shouted. There was a video going viral where they were, you know, they were like, yo, Trump, Trump, Trump. And it kind of interrupted her little speech thing. Let's read into this real quick. Let me show you the article. Check this out. Look at what I found. Okay, so if it isn't like the Letitia James, if by the way, if you need to spell her name, it's Letitia. <laughs> That's how I'm like when I'm doing it, when I poke it in my thing, I go Letitia. You know, Letitia James uh, got booed. I don't know if you saw the video, but he got she got booed last week at one of her speaking events, and then she, that pissed her off, man. She got mad, and you don't want to piss this woman off, apparently. But so. Um, She's got fire department New York people are searching for MAGA firefighters who booed Letitia James. So they're going to go through video footage, audio footage. They're going to expend all necessary police, you know, what do you call it, resources to the max. They're going to use audio files and computer AI generated ways to figure out who the boo was coming from. Um, t they're going to have air sniffing dogs to figure out where the breath came from. I mean, she's going to pull all the stops to find out who was booing her instead of actually going after the criminals that are um, taken, that have taken over New York so, and the illegals as well. So last week, the state attorney general, uh, Letitia James, was booed and heckled with pro-Trump chants as she gave remarks during the FDNY promotion ceremony. Now the department is reported looking for the people who disrupted her speech. She's instructed these people to do so. As we continue to read here, it says, On Thursday, James, whose prosecution of Donald Trump overinflated real estate prices, now, by the way, she's going after meat processing companies and others. She's just not over. She's there, She is on a rampage. I'm telling you guys, she, she's got this new sense of power, and she's not going to let it go. And, uh, and so... Um, uh, uh, oh, so this took the stage at a Christian cultural center in the Starrett County, Brooklyn, where she w was there to honor 65 u un uh, uniformed members from fire and EMS operations in the Bur Bureau of, in of Fire Investigation. 29 members of the D Bureau of uh, fire prevention and 34. Well, in other words, she's, you know, this, a ceremony was going on. Audience members started booing beginning from the moment James was announced and then continued to begin as she uh, continued as she began speaking. And the attorney general tried to calm the crowd. Oh, come on. And, 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 and you know how that goes. And so James said, as the heckling persisted, the, the, she said, first, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down now. But, um, so she, she says, but the crowd did not stop there, eventually escalating into the chance of Trump. <laughs> Trump, Trump. I heard that. I was like, yes. So James is frequently targeted of Trump's ire on uh, social media where she has consistently hurled a variety of insults at the state's first black attorney general, including calling her a racist, which I mean, she, dude, she like was well known for saying that it's a uh, too male and too too the the, the, the Trump presidency is too pale and too stale too male. She's talking about white people, man, and she campaigned on you know getting Trump and everything. And so you know too male too too stale anyway so, something like that. But the New York Post reported that the department was launching an investigation into the pro protest at the ceremony, according to the outlet. The the, the FDNY is uh, circulating a memo at the firehouses across the city, advising the department is looking through footage of the event to find these disrupted the who, who these people were and uh, calling their actions grossly inappropriate. This has never happened before. Nobody's ever been heckled at a at a meeting. Something's so the big deal to me is in you know reading in this article is I don't think that they're addressing the real problem, which is it's them. They are the it's not I mean them is in Letitia James and the crazy people who who are running the show in New York and, and calling out, you know, the, the crazy dictator shots. And not realizing that it's pissing everybody off. I mean, it just it wasn't one or two people. This was a whole. This, this was like the whole thing. They're they're gonna have to arrest all the fire department people. They're the people that they're asking to look into it are half the people that were in on it. So, you know, th what I'm getting at is, in like places like China, this is what something that Xi Jinping would do whenever he has felt like he's threatened by the 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 peons, the 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 plebs, the nobodies, the deplorables. He would, instead of you know saying, "Hey, I kind of suck. I, I need to maybe maybe look into myself, do some self-reflecting." No, 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 no. 
it's they pro they project their suckingness onto you, and they're going to arrest these people and or fire these people or give them COVID jabs. One of the two. I don't know. It's going to be all the above. You're going to get them all. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. But uh, so you know, in my opinion, I think that instead of going after these people, she'd probably do a whole lot better in, in, in saying, you know what, I'm kind of really just doing some bad moves. And uh, but powerful people, empowered by even more powerful people who are using them as tools, by the way, don't understand that, and they're going to just completely iron fist themselves right through the situation. And I just wanted to get this article out so that you guys can see just what happens whenever you let somebody wield that big, huge sword who doesn't deserve it. This is, to me, the uh, the DEI uh, definition of DEI, 100%. It just uh, And all the planes are falling apart. All the planes falling apart. Wheels falling off. Dude, lady takes a 90-degree turn at 30 knots. Knots are racist. You can't do that. Um, you know, 13, 13 and anything above 10. 13 knots piss them off. <laughs> just look into that. You know, they've screwed up everything. They've ruined their NASCAR. They've ruined your sports ball. They've done everything all in the, all because of, you know, trying to change society in a direction that's not sustainable. And you're going to see New York collapse. There's, they're going to go after every single person until they actually start going after themselves. This has been proven time and time again. Uh, the emperor has no clothes. So on the way out right quick, I'm going to show you a video as we end this quick segment. This is the, in Florida, the county sheriff's department has detained and arrested a group of, of like, not illegals. Well, it might have been illegals there. Juveniles who stole a vehicle, thought they were going to run through the or county that they had. And they, they, they found out otherwise. Some people call this video the capital R word. Some of them call it just do justice because everybody wants to go viral. Everybody wants to be on their TikTok. Everybody wants to video themselves running over people on bicycles, and not getting charged for it. So the sheriff's department has taken a whole new stance on how to handle these criminals. And they used a vehicle they seized from a drug dealer to actually, uh, to, to you'll see on the side of it, it says seized vehicle. It's an epic video. This ought to go viral. This needs to be shared. And this is how I think we need to handle these criminals that are coming in and doing what they're doing. But uh, enjoy this, guys. And thank you so much. Please hit that like, subscribe, and that share. I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Franklin Sanders and his juvenile companion thought they were going to come through St. Lucie County with the stolen vehicle, with the Broward Task Force on their tail. Ain't happening. Although this is an M5 and it's super fast, we got the scat pack out. Hey, what'd you think? Good? Yeah, no comment. Although this car hit speeds of 160 miles an hour, the scat pack took him down. We want to say shout out to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, Osceola County Sheriff's Office, Indian River County Sheriff's Office for making sure we put this bad guy behind bars where he belongs. Yeah, I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson.